Today we're going to be talking about the clear source onboard water filtration system that we're going to be installing on this RV. This is the three canister system that has a sediment filter, a carbon filter, and a 0.2 micron filter that really gets all the small nasty stuff that comes in the water out. Uh, this system is good for if you're full timing, uh, you want to replace these filters probably quarterly, but at least yearly if uh, you're not going to be using the system regularly. Let's talk about some of the parts that we're going to need to do this job. We're going to need some half inch PEX piping and some half inch PEX fittings. I chose to go with brass and then these style of clamps for the PEX. It matches the style of clamps I already have on my RV. And we're going to need some tools, drill screwdriver, some crimpers. I have some cutters that I'll be using to cut the PEX crimp connections off. A tool to cut the PEX straight. You want straight, nice cuts when you're placing your fittings on your PEX line. A drill set and something to catch some water in. Before we get too far in the project, we want to make sure that we shut off the water supply coming into the unit right here. Now that we have the water off, I can disconnect the hoses. We already had just a single canister filter on this unit. So it was getting water from the inlet here, coming through this, and then out to the rest of the system. So we're going to be eliminating this filter altogether, removing the inlet line, and then tying into this outlet line from the other side. We chose a fresh water bay to mount the filtration system. And I'm going to mount it right over where the pump is now. So we're going to have to relocate the water pump. But I need to hold this up here and mark the location of where we're going to mount this to the rails that are already inside the rig. I'm gonna loosen these screws up and take them loose so that I can uh, get the filter bracket closer to the rails where I'm gonna mount it, and then we'll mark the location. The system comes with pre-drilled slots in the mounting plate. So I marked where I have a location to mount the bracket and we're going to double check where those slots are to see if they line up. I'm going to spin off these filters using Clear Source's supplied filter wrench. Take those off, mark the location, drill some pilot holes and mount this bracket and then we can start working on the plumbing.
Now that I have the holes pre-drilled, I can mount the bracket with the screws and then start to lay out the plumbing. Now I'm going to disconnect the pump and relieve the pressure from the system that is still remaining. I'm going to be moving the pump into a different location just a little bit lower here. And so I'm going to start taking all these fittings apart and plumb the rest of it all in at one time. I'm going to be cutting some of these clamps off. Uh, using some bolt cutters to weaken the metal and breaking it off um, so I could reuse the valves and some of the fittings. I've set this new piece of PEX on this 90 degree fitting just to make it easier than put it in position. I'm going to attach some of the, the PEX first and you want to make the clamp about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fitting and you can see that it's basically centered over the fitting surface that goes inside of the PEX and then we'll tighten it up with our with our clamp tool since this is a fitting that's going on the pump and it has a threaded piece I can just put it on outside here and make it a lot easier to to work with. Quite a few screws that I need to take out to gain access behind these panels to the plumbing. So I'll do that now. Taking this fitting off so that we can rotate it once I cut the line. Because I'm going to use some of the existing line that goes this way and put a 90 on it to send it over to the filters that were just installed. So we're going to need about a foot of this line here. plenty of space in here so it doesn't have to be exact just a rough estimate of 12 inches and then we'll be able to rotate that fitting on put a 90 on it 
start running some new pecs over to the other side of the rig. Now that we have the line cut, I'm going to measure off how much we need on this side and then cut it, put a 90 on there, and we'll go from there. to feed this line over to the other side of the RV. We have the line ran over to the other side, so we're gonna attach the fitting on here and onto the end of the hose and then we will we will attach that line on the other side headed to the filter itself we're going to be cutting the line here and this is our 90 going into the new filter system so We'll cut it right about here. Place the fitting on. Line it on to the 90. So I'm marking this piece to make up this T. Install this T in this position. Here, this line feeds the rest of the coach, comes off of the pump. So I'm gonna make a mark here, cut that line. And put it on top of the T. We'll just add a few more clamps on here. Place this on top. Secure all of these clamps. Now it's time to reattach this plate and the other cover. Now with the system all put back together, we will hook up the hose and start filling the system. We finished up the clear source onboard water filtration system install. Really been enjoying it, especially over our single canister that we had before. Yeah. The single canister <laughs> seemed to have restricted the flow quite a bit three canister system we haven't noticed a real change in water flow someone using this the kitchen sink and then using the one of the bathroom sinks the water flow is the same as if one of those was off so it's been in, working really good we're really impressed that'll do it for this video so please remember to comment like and subscribe and catch you on the next video